What's up guys? Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're gonna dive into a topic that's real and raw. Why the good ones always seem to get away. You know what I'm talking about, right? You finally find that dope girl who's smart, funny, treats you right, and then bam, she bounces, leaving you wondering what the hell happened. Trust me, I've been there. We've all had that amazingly chill girlfriend who was a total catch, but for some reason, she decided to kick you to the curb. It's a brutal reality that stings harder than a breakup text from your high school sweetheart. But don't worry fam, I'm here to break it down for you. Now I know what you're thinking. She was perfect. How could she do me like that? Well, here's the tough pill to swallow. Maybe, just maybe, you messed it up without even realizing it. Crazy, I know, but hear me out. You see, us dudes can be kind of oblivious sometimes. We think everything is gravy when our girl is constantly hitting us up, being all cuddly and junk. But what we fail to realize is that the fabulous females we're dating have needs that go way beyond watching Netflix and splitting a pie. These good girls want to feel valued, respected, and like they're a priority in our lives. And too often, we get caught slipping. We start taking them for granted, making them feel like an option instead of the queen she really is. For example, let's say you've got this stellar girlfriend. She's smart as heck, snapping fire fits daily, and just an all-around baddie. But then you start putting the guys before her. You're out kicking it with the boys every night, leaving her at home feeling ghosted. Or maybe you're always glued to your phone scrolling TikTok when you're supposed to be on a date night. Imagine how whack that makes her feel. These are the types of situations where the hot, intelligent, awesome chick you're dating starts to think, damn, I deserve better than this. And you know what? She's absolutely right. Good women don't want to settle for being an afterthought. They need to feel like the main priority, like you're just as obsessed with them as they are with you. When they don't get that constant love and affirmation they crave, resentment starts to build. That's when things go sideways quicker than when your boy gets curved by the popular girl at school. Another crucial factor is the vibe you're giving off. I'm talking about your overall attitude and how you move. The baddest chicks want a dude who's confident but not cocky. They need a man who can be vulnerable, who's not afraid to open up and really let them in emotionally. If you're putting up an arrogant front 24 by 7 and refusing to share your feelings, that's an instant turn off. Fellas, we've got to be real with ourselves here. Sometimes we're just not ready to be in a legit, committed relationship. We might think we want that perfect girlfriend, but our actions prove otherwise. If you're still acting super immature, prioritizing hanging with the fellas over her and treating your girl like a casual fling rather than wifey material, don't be surprised when she walks out that door. Real ones want the full package. The guy who makes them feel cherished and adored while also bringing fun and excitement to the relationship. If you're slacking in either department, you can't really fault her for deciding her energy is better spent elsewhere. What's crazy is that even when you think everything is peachy, there might be underlying issues you're not picking up on. Maybe you're not putting in enough effort to really understand her on a deeper level. Or perhaps you've developed toxic habits like flirting with other chicks or being low-key controlling without realizing it. The point is, most good girls don't just dip out of nowhere. There are usually tons of little red flags you missed that drove her away. By the time the big breakup bomb drops, she's already been contemplating leaving for months. Now I'm not saying it's always the guy's fault. Relationships are a two-way street after all. Sometimes circumstances just make it impossible to stay together, no matter how dope your connection is. Distance. Different life goals, family drama, all that can tear even the raddest couples apart through no one's fault. But more often than not, 
The reasoning behind her kicking you to the curb traces back to you exhibiting whack boyfriend behaviors. Stuff like neglecting her needs, refusing to have those hard conversations, or just being an overall subpar partner. The common thread here, a lack of effort on your part paired with her being too amazingly awesome to settle for less than her worth. So what's the remedy to avoid getting dumped by all the good ones? Simple, be better. Level up and become the kind of man who can make a top tire woman actually want to stick around. Put in the real effort to make your lady feel cherished and fulfilled on the regs. Have those deep convos about your hopes and dreams, and really listen when she expresses her own. Date her with purpose, not out of obligation. Leave the phone in your pocket and give her your full undivided attention. Hype her up and remind her every day why she's the coolest chick you've ever met. Most importantly though, you've got to do some serious self-reflection. If commitment and going all in terrify you, be honest about it with yourself and with her. Don't drag her along thinking you can change overnight. That's just going to leave you both hurt in the long run. On the flip side, if you know you're ready to lock it down with a real one, man up and start acting like it. Level up your communication skills so you can have those open and honest talks about your relationship. Be willing to put in the work 24 by 7, not just when it's convenient. At the end of the day, the really good ones, the total package type of women, know their worth, and they're not afraid to walk away when you can't match their vibe. Ditch the immature mindset and get on their level. Trust me, when you start moving like a king who's ready for an amazingly dope queen, you'll find that the good ones start sticking around. Losing out on true quality is the worst, but it's a brutal lesson we all have to learn at some point. Just remember guys, when she does decide to leave despite you thinking everything was solid, don't be mad. Use it as fuel to glow up and become the man the next good one can't resist. Your future self will thank you for it. I'm Maudy for now, but you already know I'll be back with more no cap. Straight up advice for my dudes out here. Stay solid, my gods.